Thank you very much, Fred. Here we have Rob Nixon, Big Rob, here Back with us again. once again, the king of cooking, bona fide wow. YouTube star, here to make us something a little bit special once again. That's what an are, impressive how you doing? resume I've got there, isn't it? Hey, all true. Wow. I, don't, I, I speak not a word of a lie. Okay, I'll pay you later for it. I'll stick you a tip down at <laughs> the table. All right, so what, what have we got going on today? We're going... Remember last time we made a prawn cocktail? Oh, that was which delightful. Which is a little bit of a sort of a retro throwback to mm. sort of the 70s, 80s. We're going to do something similar. We're going to make a tea cake because afternoon tea is actually getting really popular again. High tea, pinkies in the air, yeah. ladies. I went to... When I was in Sydney last time, they had high tea with champagne and everything like that. It was $90 a person. For so high tea. we're going to do it on a budget, basically. So is we're going that to what do, you're trying to tell me? We're going to do the poor man's high tea. Without the without the actual tea. But keeping the class. But, well, sort of. Okay. We're going to make a bogan high tea. There you go. How's that? <laughs> a bogan high tea. <laughs> Get your Akudaku t-shirts ready. Yeah. Go, go on, go on, take the TV into the Commodore and start watching. Get on um, it. Or Ford, whatever. Fully six subwoofers. That's it. <laughs> While they're wearing their uh, one-piece jumpsuits. All um, right. <laughs> on a whole other on note. On a whole other note. How do we make this happen? Let's go through the ingredients. I've got some self-raising. Flour. And that's the important kind of flour. That's the one that will make it rise because it's already got the rising agent in it. Okay. Uh, we've got a egg there. Just a standard egg? Yeah, we haven't beaten <laughs> this one up. We Just a standard egg that comes out of a chicken. Uh, no. <laughs> we've got some <laughs> caster sugar. How much have we got in sugar. there? About half a cup. About half a cup there. Uh, we've got some milk. Now, does it matter what kind cow? of milk? <laughs> <laughs> is it the full cream variety or is yes, it okay it is. to use a lower fat oh, variety? Oh, you can if you want to, but, you know, fat is flavour. Yeah. Which is why I'm very tasty. <laughs> <laughs> that's another story. Everything in moderation, some, as right. we say. Oh, I don't even know what that word means. <laughs> uh, we've got some spices now. We've got some cinnamon and we've got some nutmeg, which are just beautiful The delightful spices. combination. Love it. And I've got some vanilla extract. Oh, and, now, and this is the important thing, isn't well, it? You don't want to use... Don't use the essence. Don't use the essence. Because that's just like a flavouring. You want to use the extract, which is the actual s sort of syrup from the vanilla. And, and, and the way you know is that it's double the price in the supermarket. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, don't get the cheap, nasty <laughs> stuff. Right, um, Now, so we'll get the flour. Mm -hmm. And this is another one of these cakes that I do. It's just everything in one bowl. And then you just throw it in the oven and it's really, really cool. From start to finish, how long are we looking to prepare oh. this? It's 20, 25 minutes in the oven. Okay. Um, and then obviously just a couple about, of minutes whacking it all yeah, together. Yeah, five minutes putting it together. So we've got flour, sugar. We're going to put the egg in. So it's the kind of thing that when the mother-in-law calls up and say, I'm coming over, if you need to impress her real quick... Well, when my mother-in-law calls it. up, I get out of the house, let me tell you. Oi. Uh, hi, Petra. Hello. Uh, <laughs> I'll be in deep, deep doo-doo. Um, he loves you dearly. Tell oh, yeah. all about it. I'll pay another 50. Um, this is getting expensive. Um... <laughs> So we've got our milk, sugar, eggs, flour, right. and now I'm going to be putting in our spices. Now, if you're like me, I like a little bit more. Okay. But that's just my little preference because I so love. So we've probably got a, what a good two tablespoons in there. Oh no, oh, just sorry, two probably, teaspoons. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, or just sort of one and a half. And I've got some nutmeg. Which so I a good, love. good chef shake. Yeah, just a, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> couple, couple of old chefs do that. They don't even have to move their hand. Um, there just you a couple go. Of shakes. And a little bit of, <laughs> a little bit of controversial. <laughs> a little bit of uh, vanilla extract. Okay, as so well. that is a much thicker consistency yeah, as well than the, than, than than the, the essence. essence yeah. yeah, the essence is pretty nasty. So, do you want to give that a mix around? And what we're just looking for it. is a nice sort of smooth, like a batter. Yeah, yeah, a nice batter. Um, now, once you would have mixed that up, mm -hmm. you would then put it into a cake tin. You can put it into a loaf tin. You can put it into a, a, you know, like a round cake tin like I, I've done. Do you done. need to grease it first? Uh, yeah, just grease it with a little bit of butter or use one of the springform non-stick ones, like, which are really, really cool. Or the, um, you can get baking sprays and yeah. things like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and you'd put it into the oven 170 degrees for 20, 25 minutes and it will be done. Now, now one now, question I do have, mm. when you, depending on the type of tin you use, do yeah. you have to alter the cooking time? Total cooking rookie here. Uh, if you, well, if you're using a smaller tin, right. it's, I mean, obviously you're cooking less of it. So you're going to be cooking it for less time. But if normal sort of size tin would be sort of 15 to 20 centimetres, I suppose, for this sort of cake. Or a loaf tin, same kind yeah, of deal. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway, so once we've done that, we'll pull out our little pieces. And I know oh, the, my gosh, magic, you finished it already. I know already. the half one's around here <laughs> somewhere. Here it is. And just check... Oh. That out. I don't know which. I tell you what, from here, it smells like Christmas. Mm. 
It's Absolutely. gorgeous. It smells like Christmas. And what I've done, just on the top, just to mm. finish this off, okay. is I've put some uh, melted butter over oh, the top oh, oh, and oh. sprinkled it with a cinnamon sugar, which is just sugar and cinnamon mixed in together. Sometimes you can buy that pre-prepared as well, Oh, okay? but you can, but, but don't, I mean, do it at home. what he's saying. Yeah. Okay. Don't do that. Give it a go. I've sliced it up for you. Hey, so. join me. Come on. All right. Ready? I'm Cheers. watching my way. Cheers. Come on. Oh, oh okay. Leave hang me on. hanging. Come on. There you go. <laughs> I didn't lick that in. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, show me. Mm. And it's really Very cool. Very flavoursome. It's really cool to have mm. with an afternoon tea, nice cup of coffee. I really am craving just a beautiful cup of English breakfast right now to go with this. And you could charge 90 bucks for it. <laughs> but you shouldn't, but you Oh, could. well, you could. Mm -hmm. Wow, absolutely yeah, delicious cake, given that it's absolutely the kind of quality you'd find in the shop. Oh, well, thank you. Mm. Just a true fact, I'm sorry. I did buy it from the shop. I, I, can't, I actually can't cook to save myself. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> Beautiful, mate. So you'll join us again next uh, week or a couple of weeks Soon, time? yeah. I'll be back. I'm always here sometime. But in the meantime, how can people uh, keep in touch with you on YouTube? Uh, if they just go to Nico's Kitchen on, on YouTube, you'll find me there. I'm all over the internet, apparently, so. It's kind of a big deal, in case you didn't know. But that's why. Thanks very much for joining us again, Thank you. Nico. Thank you, Ken.